Good morning, friends. Good morning, sir. Today we move on to the next core text, uh, next story uh, in this module, in the first module titled Jeremy's First Hand. So it is a story written by an American writer called Arthur Gordon, who lived from 1912 to 2002. Arthur Gordon is an American writer whose career as an author and editor spanned more than half a century. He is the author of 14 books including A Touch of Wonder, Return to Wonder and A Song Called Hope. He was also the former editor of Good Housekeeping, Cosmopolitan and Guidepost magazines. He has also contributed to such publications as Reader's Digest, Esquire, Collier's, Saturday Evening Post, McCall's and Red Book. Gordon was perhaps best known locally for A Touch of Wonder, a collection of descriptive essays on family and life along the Georgia coast. Jeremy's first hunt is taken from his 1983 collection of stories entitled Through Many Windows. So let us listen to the story of Jeremy and his father. So to give you a quick introduction to the story, this is about uh, the story about, okay. Uh, so the story is about, uh, am I audible now? Just now it's written that my voice is low. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. So this is uh, this is the story of uh, father and son, and the father is a uh, is a hunter by profession. You know who a hunter is? Who is a hunter? Exactly, Vatakaran. That is Andra. Yes, Safina. That is right. Yes, Andra. So uh, he is a hunter by profession. Yes, so, very good. So uh, he wants his son also to become a hunter because uh, that is what uh, usually happens in certain communities, they want their tradition of or their profession to be continued by their children also. So that is uh, what this father wants the son to become. And the son uh, is not actually very keen on becoming a hunter. He has some other ideas in his mind. So, uh, so there is a, a difference in what uh, the father wants the son to become and what the son wants him to himself to become. So, the, so how is this uh, getting resolved? That is the story. So the father wants uh, uh, his son to become a hunter and he has actually trained him in hunting. Uh, is trained with uh, uh, toys. So keeping some toys at a distance, he is asked to shoot them. So he has got such a training. And in the story, uh, this boy is going to get his first experience in real hunting. So uh, whether he will be able to shoot a bird because he is uh, he is an expert shooter because he has already got training in shooting 
he has become an expert shooter but uh, to sh shoot a real bird whether he'll be able to do that is what we have to see in this story so we will uh, read the story okay so i will ask someone to read okay so i will ask someone to read bhagyashri can read the first paragraph hello sir hello? i can read this first paragraph yes, sir uh, his father said all set boy and uh, and jermy nodded quickly picking picking up his gun with the uh, awkward no? with awkward yeah, awkward okay. a quad mitten in hands his father pushed open the door and they went out into the freezing down together leaving leaving the leaving the snug 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 security of the shake shake uh, the warm warm of the nors Aaron's kerosene, kerosene, kerosene. Kerosene show the combi co companionable, companionable yes. smell of bacon and coffee. Okay, thank you, Bhagish. So, uh, his father is asking him, "All set, boy? Are you ready? All set means are you ready, boy?" And Jeremy nodded. Nodding is an action of the head. when you know he means that you are agreeing and he picked up his gun with awkward mittened hands mittens uh, mittens are kind of uh, cloth gloves which you wear to protect from cold there are kind of gloves which are worn in the hand uh, they are their purpose is to protect from cold uh, maybe it is made of some woolen yes cloth gloves so they are made of some woolen material so that it can protect uh, uh, you from cold that's, that's right joffy it is cloth gloves and uh, he is picking up the gun with the mitten hands and they are inside the uh, house they are going out of the house into the cold morning so it is uh, it is described as freezing dawn what is dawn What do you mean by dawn? What is the meaning of dawn? Dawn la va ko gatla. Exactly, it is the early morning. Okay, it is the first light of day. Yes, Jofi. so it is early morning and it is pronounced as dawn okay it is pronounced as dawn that is the pronunciation of this word and they have uh, they are going out into the freezing dawn it is very cold freezing it's so cold you are likely to freeze into if you go in that cold so that that is the kind of temperature that they have in the morning it is very cold and they are leaving the snug the snug means comfortable snug means comfortable and they are leaving the comfortable uh they are leaving the comfortable situation in the uh place they were they live in and shack is a meaning means a hut or kudile or kura so that is where they live so they are not very rich people because his uh, father is a hunter uh, jeremy lives in a very small hut ur kudilil aanu live so but it is comfortable inside because it is protected from the heat and cold outside so 
uh, when they go out of this shack, it is not comfortable because outside it is very cold. So they are leaving the comfort of the hut because the inside it is uh, warm, means it is hot because the stove is burning and the heat from the stove protects you from the cold. Kerosene stove, it is a stove which burns with kerosene. And there is also the pleasant smell. Companionable means pleasant. Companion means friend, but companionable means a pleasant smell. Companionable means pleasant. Companionable smell means pleasant smell of bacon. Bacon is meat and coffee. So that's uh, food. The smell of food is always comforting to everyone, isn't it? When you when you get up in the morning and you have the smell of food, that itself comforts you that a food is ready. So that kind of com comfort is there inside the house. So they are going out of that comfort. That comfort is getting lost. And they are going into the cold morning. Why are they going out? They are going for hunting. And uh, what is the peculiarity of this morning? Why is this morning being described so seriously? The reason for the peculiarity of this morning is described in the next paragraph. Okay. Uh, Adarva, I can read Adarva. Yes, sir. Hello? Yeah. They speak for a moment. Second paragraph, hello, sir. Yes, second paragraph. They stood for a moment. Then. They sto uh, stood for a moment in front of the hut. Uh, they breathed white in the icy air. Uh, ahead of them was only the vast expanse of marsh and water and sky. Ordinarily, Germany would have asked his father to wait while he uh, fused around with high, uh, his camera trying to record the bleak arrangements of black and gray and silver but not this morning this was uh, this was the morning solna and scared when 14 years old germany was to be initiated into the mystic rites of the shooting very good thank you Adarwa. thank you sir so they stand for some time. So after getting out of the hut, they stand for some time in the front of that hut. Shack means hut. There they outside it is the it is the temperature is very low. And their breath, when you are breathing in very cold atmosphere, because of the moment of the mist. Because the because of the moment of the mist, it will appear as if somebody is smoking. This is not smoking, it is the it is the moment of the mist. Okay? The mist, the snow. Uh, the, that is what gives you the impression of the uh, the white color the white color in the icy air. Icy means cold like ice. And in front of them, ahead of them, in front of them, there is only a vast expanse. Expanse is space. Okay, Expanse means space. Space of marsh. Marsh means, what is marsh? Have you heard of this word? Marsh. What is that? What is marsh? They can see only a vast space of marsh and water and sky. There you come, marsh. Yes, very good. Yes, Jofi. Yes, so many people are responding. Chadupunelan. And I do smooth title of the surface ala. Kachalim, Melokan, or Nicholas, Chadupunela. As a name, 
machine. Yes. Large number of responses. Thank you for that. So uh, they are going into the marshy land. It is not very clean place. So they are going out for shooting. So in, usually when he, when he goes with his father, because his father is a hunter, he doesn't shoot. The army doesn't shoot because he, is, he was undergoing training. But today he is going to shoot. So usually when he goes with his father, he plays with his camera. He likes to use the camera, especially in the morning. The morning atmosphere is very nice. You can uh, see it, the beautiful sight of sun, sunrise if you get up early in the morning and look at the east horizon. So it is a very beautiful sight. So he likes to take the photographs of the, uh, the even before the sunrise, there is a, a slight gray color, black and gray and silver color, which is there in the sky, which is a very beautiful sight. <coughs> and Jeremy likes to take the photograph of the sight. So this is what he usually does. He usually plays with his camera. But this morning, this morning uh, is very peculiar, very serious. Uh, so that is what is described. This, this morning is not like any other morning. It is uh, solemn. It is uh, solemn morning. What is solemn? Solemn means uh, serious. Sacred means holy. So this is a very serious and holy morning. Like when you go for the exam, you don't go for the exam like you go oh, during other days to the school or college. So when you go to uh, go to college or school on normal days, you go in a normal manner. But when you go to call, go to the school for, or the college for an exam, the whole attitude is different, isn't it? You take it in a very serious manner, and there is something uh, very sacred about it also. You pray. You, even if you don't pray every day, the day of the exam, you will pray. You will sit and pray for some time. And you go out in a kind of serious uh, uh, attitude. So that uh, that kind of attitude, Jeremy also has this morning. Because this day is a kind of exam for him. Because he is going to do his first shooting of duck. So the, he is going to do the first shooting of ducks today. And that is why this is a serious day. And his age is also mentioned there. He is 14 years old. And he is going to be initiated. What is the mean? What can you guess the meaning from the uh, context? What is the meaning of initiate? Can you guess the meaning of initiate? He is going to be initiated into the mystic rites of duck shooting. Exactly, Mungayudupa, exactly, that's right. Start or begin something, then you know, initiation. So he's going to be, he's going to do it for the first time. Tudangivakya, exactly. So he's going to begin this process. So he has never shot a uh, live duck. So he's going to do it for the first time. Mystic, the good mind, mystic. So it is something, some, uh, until you do something, so until you start doing something, it is always a mystic thing. So that is why uh, it is called a mystic rite. Rite is chadanga, right? It has the uh, same pronunciation as R I G H T, same pronunciation, but has a different meaning. Both are pronounced as right. Right nana pronunciation of the R I T R I G H T. Both are pronounced as a right, but they have two different meanings. Right nor R I T E right is chadaga. R I G H T right in a render thunder. One correct in a lot of thunder. In a valuation of the thunder. So these two are two different words with the same pronunciation but uh, different uh, meanings. So such words with same pronunciation and different meanings have a name. They are called homophones. Homo means same, phone means sound. So homophones are words with the same sound. So he is going to be initiated. Who is going to be initiated? Who is going to be initiated into duck shooting? Aran initiatium, Aran initiatium, 
ആരാണ് തുടങ്ങാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഷൂട്ടിംഗ് ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ആരാണ് ജെർമി വെരി ഗുഡ് യെസ് യെസ് ശ്രീലക്ഷ്മി സോ ജെർമി ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി യെസ് യെസ് ജോ സോ സോ ജെർമി ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റഡ് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റഡ് മീൻസ് ടു ബി ബിഗിൻ യെസ് വെരി ഗുഡ് താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ദ റെസ്പോൺസസ് സോ ഈ ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ബിഗിൻ ബിഗിനിങ് ദി മിസ്റ്റിക് റൈറ്റ്സ് നിഗൂഢമായ നിഗൂഢമായ ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സ് അപ്പം അത് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നവരത് നിഗൂഢമാണ് ചെയ്ത് തുടങ്ങി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് എ കോമൺ തിങ് അപ്പം ആദ്യമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു പ്രവൃത്തി ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് ഫീൽസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് വെരി അൺനൂൺ നമുക്കറിയാത്തൊരു മേഖലയാണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ തന്നെ നമുക്കത് ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് കോമൺ പ്ലേസ് സാധാരണമായിട്ടൊരു കാര്യമായി നോക്കി സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സീരിയസ്നെസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഡേ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദിസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വോട്ട് ദിസ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ്സ് How serious this ഹൗ സീരിയസ് ദിസ് ഡേ ഇസ് ഫോർ ജർമ്മി ദിസ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് മേക്സ് എസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദി ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ഓഫ് ജർമി ജർമീസ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ടുവേർഡ്സ് ഹണ്ടിങ് വാട്ട് വാസ് ഇസ് വ്യൂ ഓഫ് ഹണ്ടിങ് ഹൗ ഡിഡ് ഹി കൺസിഡർ ഹണ്ടിങ് വാട്ട് വാസ് ഇസ് what was his, what was his interest if he was interested in hunting or whether he was interested in something else so this is going to be described in the uh, next paragraph uh, binsi please read that paragraph binsi chandra yes sir yes and he hated it has hated the whole idea ever since his father had brought him a gun had uh, sir what is that hello no yeah i can hear you kanvale had taught him to shoot him to shoot clay pigeon has promised him a trip to this island in the bay but he was determined to go through with it he loved his father wanted more than anything in the world his approval if only the could could conduct himself properly this morning he knew that he would get it okay thank you vincent so this uh, paragraph tells us what was at jarmi's attitude towards hunting did he like hunting yes or no does jarmi like hunting no yes sandra that's right so he doesn't like hiding hunting yes no 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 yes so no he doesn't like hunting because the very first sentence is he hated it so hate is the opposite of of love okay so he he hated the whole idea of hunting and it is not something that happened recently from the very beginning the way from the very beginning when his father bought him a gun with the plan of making him a hunter from the very beginning he did not like this uh, idea of hunting so how did he start learning he started uh, learning by shooting pigeons which are made of clay means they are toys what are pigeons do you mean by pigeons pigeons are also called doves what are they pravagal exactly that's right okay pravagal ana so the, the he used to shoot uh, uh, clay pigeons yes very good thank you for those responses so he uh, his father uh, had promised him that if you if you shoot a real bird i will i, I will give you a trip to an island in the bay so 
um, this is also what uh, usually parents promise children if you become first in the class i will buy you something i will buy you an ice cream or i will buy you some uh, book i will buy you a pen or i will buy you a phone or something so there is this kinds of uh, promises that parents make to children and like that his father promised him that if you if you are successful in hunting i will take you on a trip yeah, i will take you on a trip i will take you on a tour okay so this is what he promised his child so he was not actually interested in uh, hunting though his father promised him many things then why did he uh, why did he continue to practice hunting his father promised him a tour a trip but he was not interested in all those things he was not interested in hunting then why did he continue to hunt why did he continue to practice shooting continue and karan undan achana gift offer cheyadu undana trip offer cheyadu undana trip nu kondu vaanu parnu undana ayale Hunting and hunting is exactly yes, Jofi. That's right. The only reason that he continued, like we joined this course, many people joined the course. Uh, maybe they have no idea of yes, that's right. They maybe we have no idea what this course is all about. Just because our parents say we joined this course, later we start understanding about them. So the only reason that he started hunting is that he loved his father. and he wanted to make him happy so uh, we also want to make our parents happy don't you want to make your parents happy do you want to make your parents happy yes everybody wants to make their parents happy because they are our loved ones so we so we want to make our parents happy like us yes there are so many asses in the chat box very nice to see all that thank you for those responses so we everybody wants to make our parents happy so that is the that is the, so that gives us happiness so when we see their happiness we we become happy when they are sad we become sad so we want to make our parents happy so jeremy is also like us he is also a child like us So he wants to make his parents happy. He wants to make his father happy. So he, the most important thing in the world for him was his approval. His father should say he should approve him. Agree. Approve means to agree. Oh, that I have a good child like Jeremy. So he is. He wanted the approval of his father. He wanted the love of his father. That is the only aim in his life. Everything in it is the most valuable thing in the world for him. and for that if he wants to get his father's final approval he has to become successful this morning okay so he, till now he has got his father's approval because his father wanted to become a hunter he started practicing but today is the day it is going to decide whether he will get his final approval because today he is going to shoot a real bird so today it will decide whether he could conduct himself properly this morning he knew that he could get it to conduct oneself what do you mean by conduct കണ്ടക്ട് മീൻസ് നടത്തുക ശരിയായ രീതിയിൽ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ നടത്താൻ സാധിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യെസ് ബിഹേവിയർ ഇസ് അനദർ മീനിങ് സോ ഇഫ് യു ക്യാൻ കണ്ടക്ട് യുവർ സെൽഫ് ബിഹേവ് ഹിം സെൽഫ് പ്രോപ്പർലി ദാറ്റ് മോർണിംഗ് ദെൻ ഹീ ക്യാൻ ഹീ ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് വാട്ട് വട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് വട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഹി ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ദിസ് ഓൺലി ഇഫ് ഹി കണ്ടക്ട്സ് ഹിം ഹിം സെൽഫ് പ്രോപ്പർലി വട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഇവിടെ ഇറ്റ് എന്താണ് very good it is father's approval so that is the aim in his life he wants to get his father's approval when only if he conducts himself properly 
only then he will get his father's approval. So that is the meaning of impact. Yes, yes, that is it. Very good. Here the uh, world contact uh, you can see in two ways. It's a, uh, it, it is used here as a verb. Okay, it is also used as a. It is also used as a noun. It is used as a noun also. Uh, that is, uh, you talk about uh, uh, somebody's behavior, then it is uh, contact, it is pronounced as contact. That is why we have contact certificate. So, when it is pronounced as a verb, it is pronounced as conduct. Okay, as a verb, it is pronounced as conduct. But as a noun, it is pronounced as conduct. Okay, the same spelling having different pronunciation in different situations. Same word. Same word, same spelling, but different pronunciation and with different meaning. So in one sense, as conduct, it is used as a verb. Contact is used as a verb. So that is uh, contact. So uh, they are getting ready for shooting. So that is the next paragraph. I don't know whether it is visible. Yes. So the next paragraph. They are getting ready to for hunting. They are coming to the area where they will be placing themselves before the people to uh, prepare for hunting. Yeah, of course. Yes, now I'll call Joffy. Joffy, please read. Next paragraph, hello, sir. Yes, yes. They came during it. They came to the blind in arrow. Camouflaged. Camouflaged. Camouflaged peak facing the day and facing the bay. In it was a bench, a shelf for shotgun shells, nothing else. Germany sat down tensely, waited while his father waded out with an armful of decoys. Light was pouring into the sky now. Far down the bay, a string of ducks went by etched again against the sunrise. Watching them, Germ Jeremy felt his stomach contact. contract. Yes. To, to see the sense of dread, he took a picture of his father. Silhouetted. Sil silhouetted against the cute silver water. Then he put the camera hastily on the shelf and picked up his gun. Yes, they came to the blind. Blind, uh, what is the normal meaning of blind? Sadarna blind in Dathondana. Sadarna blind in the Nandana. And then, and the Kandagana, yes, exactly, yes, Jofi. Kandagana, Avasta, Kandagana, the Alekam, blind in the Nandana. You would have blind in the Nandana, similar right la meaning, Anna. Similar meaning, Anna, yes. Here it means a place where you cannot be seen. That is a place where you can hide. So they have come to a blind place. Means that, that place is uh, is hidden place. So why do you want to be in a hidden place so that hunters don't want to be seen by the hunted? They have come to a blind area. A blind area is a place where they cannot be seen. So they came to the blind. It is a camouflaged. The meanings of these difficult words are given as footnotes. Camouflaged is, uh, here it is given as a footnote. It's a place, uh, a way of hiding, usually used by soldiers, etc. By covering yourself with paint sleeves, etc. Soldiers in the Kavashan, you can see that. They wear such uh, such kind of clothes. Our plain colored clothes are liberated. 
ഇലകളൊക്കെ ഉള്ള പോലത്തെ ഉള്ള ഡ്രസ്സാണ് അവരുടെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മരച്ചില്ലകൾ പറം പോലത്തെ ഒക്കെ ഉള്ള ഡ്രസ്സ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദേ കെ നോട്ട് ബി ഈസിലി ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈഡ് ഫ്രം ദ സറൗണ്ടിങ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദി പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് കമൂ ഫ്ലാജിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈഡ് ആസ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഫ്രം ദ സറൗണ്ടിങ്സ് സോ ഏ ദേ കെയിം ടു ദാറ്റ് നാരോ കമൂ ഫ്ലാജ് ദ പിറ്റ് പിറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കുഴിയാണ് ഫേസിങ് ദ ബേ ബേ തീരമാണ് അതായത് ഒരു നദി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ലേക്ക് എ ലേക്ക് ഓർ എ റിവർ സോ ഇൻ ദ ഇൻ ദ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ദ എ പ്ലേസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദ ഷോർ ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അനദർ വേർഡ് ഷോർ ഇസ് അനദർ വേർഡ് ഫോർ ബേ സോ ദ കെയിൻ ദർ ആൻഡ് ദേർ വാസ് എ there was a bench or a and a shelf for keeping the shells shells are bullets okay shotgun shells means bullets to shoot the uh, the birds so they came there and jermy is tense he stands sat down tense why is he tense in the tension the garden what is the reason for his tension why is he tensed he is tends to means he has got tension why when you go for the exam you are tensed so similarly he is also tensed why is he tensed what is the reason for his tension ജർമ്മിക്ക് ടെൻഷൻ തോന്നാൻ കാരണം എന്താണ് യു കെൻ സ്വിച്ച് ഓൺ യു മൈ കെൻ സ്പീക്ക് What is the reason for his tension? Uh, the eternal hunting in a pond are done, don't you? Yes, exactly, exactly. He is going to shoot, as he likes me, he is going to shoot for the first time. That is why he is tensed. that is that that fear that tension is there that stress is there in his mind so he, he is uh, he has got tension and his father is uh, uh, walking out into the water wading is a pro- the way you walk in sadharana nadakkunna pole velathile nadakkan pattilla the kind of movement of your legs in water is called wading to wade in water means it is the walking in water when you walk in water you cannot walk as if you are walking in land there is a kind of uh, friction which you experience in water so that kind of movement in water is called wading and he has got a lot of decoys the decoys are toy birds so he is putting some toy birds into the water to attract uh, the real birds so when the birds when they see these toy birds they will think that they are real birds and they will think that this is uh, a safe place to come to drink water so these uh, toys are put in water by his father jarmi's father to attract real birds live ducks na attract cheyan vendittanu ee toy pigeons na ee decoys decoys are toy pigeons so these uh, toy pigeons are put into the water to attract live birds so this is all a part of preparation for starting the hunting and now uh, it is uh, the sun has gone up into the sky സൺറൈസ് സമയമൊക്കെ കഴിഞ്ഞ് മുകളിലേക്ക് സൂര്യൻ ഉദിച്ച് ഉയർന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞു സോ ഹി ക്യാൻ സി എവറിത്തിങ് മോർ ക്ലിയർലി ലൈറ്റ് വാസ് പോറിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദ സ്കൈ നോ ആൻഡ് ഹി കുഡ് സി അറ്റ് ദി ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് ദ സൺറൈസ് ഹി കുഡ് സി എ സ്ട്രിങ് ഓഫ് ഡക്സ് സ്ട്രിങ് ഓഫ് ഡക്ക് മീൻസ് എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡക്സ് എ ഫ്ലോക്ക് ഓഫ് ഡക്സ
okay a flock of ducks or a flight of ducks so these are all different terms which we can use a string of ducks a flock of ducks a flight of ducks a group of ducks they are going etched against the sunrise etching means it is as if it is drawn against us a picture verse they are kotti eduthathu pole they are uh, as if it, it is a picture so some of the most beautiful paintings are those of early morning of sunrise even as a child if you remember the drawings that you made in your childhood it would be mostly of the morning atmosphere with the mountains and the sun rising in between and the birds in the air and the clouds and uh, a tree uh, and the river a stream flowing near the river so these are some kinds of pictures every child could have drawn even you may not be a painter you don't have to be you don't have to be a painter even without being a painter every child will have drawn such a picture of uh, two mountains at uh, two mountains and the sun in between the birds uh, flying up and so, so this kind of a a uh, picture is actually he is seeing such a picture in the actual sky so that is why it is said that it is etched against the sunrise a varichittathu pole pakshigal a pakshigal avada sheriki ulla pakshigal aanu shayaka adu oru varichathu pole thonu so it is so beautiful sight and watching them jeremy felt his stomach contract yes when he contract means to shrink shrink churungunathu pole vayaru churungunathu pole thoni pedichittaan when you have fear you will have such feelings in your stomach when you are afraid when you have anxiety okay when you have anxiety when you are anxious so when you are anxious you are called you are said to be in anxiety so when you are anxious when you have anxiety you will feel as if your stomach is contracting your stomach is shrinking so this is what he is also feeling jeremy is also feeling to ease uh, the sense to ease means to reduce the sense of dread dread is fear so to reduce the fear uh, he took a picture of his father he, he has his camera also with him so he took a picture of his father uh, silhouetted against the quick silver water silhouetted means uh, like an outline okay so he can because of the sunlight in the background his father cannot be seen cl clearly his father can only be seen as an outline because the light is in the background if you want to get a proper picture the light has to be in the foreground background la light anengile picture namaku kaanunnathu oru outline pole irikku oru shaded area pole irikku oru shadow pole kaanunnathu so that is called a silhouette so he could uh, see only a silhouetted form a shadowed form an outlined form of his water in the background of the shining water background le vellam aanu shining water aanu so he could see only an outline of his father and hastily means quickly he put the uh, camera on the shelf and he took his gun and uh, he is getting ready because his father has prepared the water now he is getting ready to shoot so he is uh, he is going to uh, shoot so his father is coming and he will sit beside him and give him instructions on how to shoot okay next paragraph i will stop with the next paragraph jyoti you can read that next paragraph his father came back his father came back and crouched beside him boots dripping hands blue with cold better land up sometimes they are on top of you before you know it he watched jeremy break his gun in insert the shells close it again i will let you shoot first he said he loaded his own gun with a metallic snap you know she said happily i have been waiting a long time for this day just the two of you two of us thank you jofi so he uh, his father came back and i sat crouched beside him or chewing avada odingi irikkaraana crouching he crouched beside him his boots are dripping with water because he has just got into the water to put the decoys there 
So, and he is also loading his own gun, and Jeremy is also loading his own. Jeremy, he saw Jeremy break his gun. Break no one ever put it to nala. He is opening the gun and putting, loading them with shells, with bullets. And his father told him, "Today you are going to shoot first because this is going to be your first experience in shooting birds." And then he said, "I have been waiting for a long time for this day, just the two of us." So it is the dream of every parent. to see their children becoming successful so this is what they are dreaming day and night namukku angane oru chinta illengil parents are always thinking of when will my child become successful so they look forward to that day when you become capable of looking after yourself and the family so that is what uh, this this is very important sentence this shows how much uh, this father is counting on his son how much this father is uh, Doting on his son, I have been waiting for a long time for this day. Three or four times, I have been sitting here in the jungle. What day? What is this day's peculiarity? This is the day his son is going to become a. He is going to become a what? What is he going to become today? What is Jeremy going to become today? He is going to become what his father is. What is his father? Exactly, he is going to become a hunter like his father, a real hunter because he is going to shoot a live bird. So that is why his yes, thank you for the responses. So he is going to become a hunter like his father, and he is going to become successful. So that I have been waiting. He was such an amazing actor on our life. So whether we, whether he will become successful in hunting, and will he make his father happy? Whether he will get his father's approval, and whether he will be able to. live up to the dreams of his father let us see when we go through the rest of the story that will be in the next class we will stop for today we'll continue in the next class thank you for joining have a wonderful day goodbye thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you, thank you.